How to create this effect using video, Adobe After Effects or other software combined with AI? First, we need to find the spot in our video where we want the image to freeze. We select the right frame and take a screenshot of it or simply export it as a JPEG. I use the FX console tool for this which you can download from videocopilot.net. Once you have it installed, just press the shortcut Ctrl plus space to create a screenshot and then export it as a JPEG. At this stage we mark the spot where we took the screenshot using the multiply star keyboard shortcut so we can easily return to it later. Now we can move on to the next step and use any AI tool to generate video. I used FreePick where I added our starting image the frame we captured earlier. On the screen you can see the prompt I used to create the video. Once we generate a clip we're happy with, we go back to Adobe After Effects and add the video to the timeline. In my case, the generated video has a lower resolution. You can always upscale it using an appropriate AI tool. Since I'm using it only for demonstration purposes, I'll apply the detail preserving upscale effect to adjust the height. We position the video at the spot where we took the screenshot earlier. Using the shortcut Ctrl plus Shift D, we split the main video at this point. On the generated clip, right click, select time and then enable time remapping, which allows you to animate the playback timing of the clip. Now I drag the last keyframe earlier, which speeds up the video. Next, I copy the first keyframe and paste it at the end. This way the video will reverse. We can trim the clip length to this section. For a better effect, I'll add a scale animation. I create keyframes. At the beginning the scale is set to 100%, at the peak moment it increases to 120% and at the end it returns back to 100%. We position the main video so the second part starts right where the generated video ends. On the scale animation, we add Easy Ease by pressing F9. In the graph editor, we adjust the speed curve to make it more dynamic. You can also enable motion blur on the layer to smooth out the scale movement. And that's it, our video is complete. Subscribe if you want to stay up to date with new tutorials.